In the last of these videos, we had a go looking at ladybirds in cemeteries and had a great deal of success. But stonework, gravestones, they're not the only place to find ladybirds in winter. And today I wanted to try my hand at having a look for ladybirds in a more natural setting, around conifers like this. Owing to their dense evergreen foliage, conifers are a great place for ladybirds to wait out the worst of the winter weather, offering shelter to a range of generalist species, common species such as the seven spot, but also a good number of specialists too. Ladybirds which depend on the unique prey communities held by these trees. So today we've come to Havana Nature Reserve in Newcastle to have a look for a few of these for ourselves. Let's see what we can find. While it is always worth checking tree holes and the bark of conifers, one of the best places to find ladybirds on these trees is actually at the tips of the branches, with ladybirds often nestled around the buds or cones. Check enough trees like this, with a careful eye and a bit of patience, and one species you are almost guaranteed to see is the familiar seven-spot ladybird. I'm pleased to say we have one of these here right now. Your stereotypical storybook ladybird with a red wing case is adorned with seven black spots. This is undoubtedly the species that springs to mind first whenever your mind turns to ladybirds. Despite its name, the number of spots on this species can vary quite drastically. But to be extra sure, another great way to tell it apart from the rest is to look at the distinctive pattern of black and white on the pronotum just behind the head. One of the first ladybirds to become active in spring this species will be up and going by mid-March, and I suspect that if I were to come back here in just a few weeks, this one might have vanished. No matter, as one of our most common ladybird species, I suspect we'll see many more of these as the Northeast Ladybird Spot continues throughout the spring and summer. And here we have our second ladybird of the day, the lovely Pine Ladybird. As we saw in a previous video, this is a particularly small black ladybird, best identified by the distinctive comma-shaped red markings towards the front of each wing case. Another great way to tell this ladybird apart from the pack is to look at the rim around the wing cases. It looks a little bit like a pie crust. Despite its name, the pine ladybird can actually be found on a great variety of deciduous trees and can even be encountered in other habitats altogether, from grassland to coastal environments. Like the seven spots seen previously, this species wakes up particularly early, meaning that winter is perhaps the best time to find it before it vanishes into the treetops. For now, however, I think we'll let this one be and set off in search of something a little bit more specialised. I mentioned at the start of this video that it is possible to find a number of very special ladybirds on conifers, species found exclusively in habitats such as this. Well, you might be able to tell by my face, but I'm excited to say we have one of those specialist ladybirds right here, the fantastic striped ladybird. The most specialised aphid feeding ladybird in Britain, this rather beautiful insect is one restricted almost entirely to mature Scots pines. The second largest of our native ladybirds, surpassed only by the eyed ladybird, the species is refreshingly unmistakable with its chestnut base colour and elongate white markings. The pronotum at the front of this ladybird near the head is also an attractive combination of white and chestnut. Now, this species isn't outlandishly rare, instead it's rather local, but even where it is present, it is not often encountered owing to its tendency to spend most of its time high in the treetops. An encounter like this, therefore, is definitely one to savour. I don't think we're going to top this today. And there we have it, a whistle-stop tour of just some of the ladybirds you can find right now on conifers across the northeast. Check enough trees, look closely at branch tips, and I'm sure you will find many more species than we have today. Not least, the possibility of a few really interesting ladybirds, the cream-streaked and 18-spot to name but two.
If you plan on taking part in the North East Ladybird spot this week, please do take a minute to check conifers. Pine is great, larch is good, but really any species of tree could yield ladybirds. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing what you discover over the weeks ahead.